The Ohio State University's airport and School of Aeronautics opened in 1917 and was the first located in an open field, which is now home to Ohio Stadium, better known as the Shoe. As the flight program grew, the airport was moved to its current location, just a few miles from main campus in 1942. There it took on the title of Don Scott Field, named after the World War II hero, who was also an Ohio State student and an All-American quarterback. Expansion in research and development soon followed, along with various additions to the airport. A gift from the Austin E. Knowlton Foundation facilitated the construction of the beautiful new Executive Terminal and Aviation Learning Center in 2017. And as the reimagined home of Ohio State's flight education program, it's one of the best in the country. While other universities own and operate airports, KOSU, as it's known in the aviation community, stands out for prioritizing education and research while providing exceptional service to its commercial and civil aviation clients. Stephanie Morgan, Executive Director of Air Transportation in the Aerospace Campus since 2019, joins us today. Not only does Stephanie lead the business and operations of the airport, she's also a veteran who attended the United States Military Academy, an instrument-rated private pilot who has a degree in aeronautical administration and an MBA. Among many honors, the feather in her hat was being awarded the highest grade of fellow by the Royal Aeronautical Society. Stephanie, welcome to Ingenuity. Thank you. Since the Ohio State University Airport is part of the College of Engineering, I know that it's been a beehive of activity year round. Can you help our listeners understand the hustle and the bustle? We were the busiest airport in the state of Ohio during COVID for operations. Generally, we're about third or fourth busiest airport in Ohio. We are hitting it very hard, and our flight students are showing the graces of our productions, and they are going through their ratings and all their instrument products as well. And I'm so glad that you use the word beehive. Do you know on the 1,400 acres that we have on our airport transportation campus, we actually partner with the bee lab and we grow some sweet honey. So not only is it the busiest airport, it's also the beesiest airport. <laughs> it's the beesiest and the sweetest, I think so too. Additionally, we've hosted SafeCon 12 out of the 20 times. Okay, SafeCon, what is that? SafeCon, you've got to see it. 12 times at Ohio State, and you will not imagine the ramp. Can you imagine 26 collegiate flight education sponsors on one ramp, one week, and we're looking at 10,000 operations in one week. And they all compete among each other to be the best of the best. And it's a five, six different events. We're looking at flower drops, navigation, maintenance, simulators. And this is at our airport. It is our airport. Yeah, gotta love it. So Ohio State has one of the top ranked flight education programs in the country. And it's not just pilots that are learning here. What types of aviation and aerospace careers are students preparing for? Our students are not only preparing for piloting, but they're exposed to more than just aviation. In particular, we are looking at the influxes of the demands of the industry. We have AMP mechanics, since we have an FAA Part 145 facility that, as always for us, is looking at safety for our students for the Part 141 for our training facility. We look at operations. Our airfield itself is called Part 139. And what that actually means is safety standards. We are the same safety standards on most commercial airports. And what that means is we are invested in the FAA, partnering with the FAA. So our careers also go through to the governmental, the agencies, FAA. We have dispatch positions. Some of our partners that we are actually pipelining for our students would be NetJets, we have Wheels Up, ADS Pipe, Cardinal Health, Worthington Industries. We also look at graduate programs. 
uh, throughout the entire nation. And I think we're very proud of all of our expertise in our areas. So I, I think that means that when most people think of flight education, it's not just about pilots. It's mechanics, it's dispatchers, it's aviation safety, it's operations. It's basically the entire ecosystem. It is, Dean. And I, I'd say that some say that once you've seen one airport, you've seen one airport. In our industry, that means look at our airport. We are out in, a, in the northwest section of a prime real estate area. Our partners itself make us stand out. We have Worthington, City of Columbus, Dublin, and then also Hilliard is a partner for us. And we are unique in a lot of aspects. And we're not just the piloting side of it, any type of support you can think of. And a lot of us say it's a city within a city. The airport also serves as a wide cadre of aviation interests within the community. MedFlight, Ohio Highway Patrol, ODNR, and flight clubs. So I, that's kind of interesting. So you said if you've seen one airport, you've seen one airport. But if you haven't seen KOSU, you haven't seen nothing yet. That's right. So if you think about the, the airport and the talent shortages and flight education, I mean, talent shortages impact many industries, including those that rely on engineering graduates. So we've learned that students need to become aware of career opportunities before they reach college. How is Ohio State's airport reaching out to K-12 through students and others in the community? For us, we'd like to start younger and probably more in the fourth grade. We have a team that comes into the community and we're talking to the fourth, fifth graders to start engaging them on opportunities in aviation. We also, something that I'm really proud of in our team is we are sponsoring right now on the 27th day of August, we have a Don Scott 5K run open to the public. We are a public use airport and we have 500 available slots. We're more than halfway there for participants this year. Another way that we really engage the community side of it would be for us to uh, look at the taxi takeoff program that started a year ago. We had about eight students. And that was a partnership with Dublin City Schools, City of Columbus, Hilliard, Worthington, Upper Arlington, and created this small academy. One thing I'd like to note, we had eight students, our first ever cohort, to earn their 107 drone pilot license. And today we have 60 students where we've grown it and for five days a week. And it looks like for us, we're going to have two sessions so for us, that's going to be a partnership for our community and something that we're very proud of. So you said a 5K run. I'm assuming that means I get a run on the actual runway? We do. We close the runway. You get to run on the actual runway. We have a lot of sponsors. Matter of fact, some of our community partners will have their jets out. And this is actually going for a scholarship for our multi-engine scholarships. And we will have that multi-engine leading the pack for this run. Okay, let's switch gears. So we've talked a bit about the history of the airport, the educational opportunities, and community involvement. One thing that makes the Ohio State University Airport, not your typical university airport, is the research that it helps facilitate, specifically through the collaboration of the university's Aerospace Research Center, or ARC. So what kind of research is happening there? ARC is a gem. It's a not known in most of the community, but sometimes the community can hear it because they are doing some testing. Part of their four areas that they look at would be the aerodynamics flow control, unmanned aircraft systems, the gas turbine engines, and hypersonics. One fun fact that they're researching would be, for instance, the wing design to make it more efficient. We're also looking at some electric aircraft and how that's going to change our industry. And uh, something else that I think is interesting for the research piece that is instrumental, that a capstone project that we implemented, which was uh, the frame was, is OSU jet activity restricted by our current runway length? 
And the results from that capstone was phenomenal, showing that we have opportunities in the future for potentially looking at not only research pipeline and also for us to have availability for our community to be able to access where they want to go when they want to go. So you mentioned hypersonics and wing design, but you you sort of just sneaked in that unmanned aircraft system. So I'm going to, you know, as a roboticist, I just have to pull that out. That is just for people who don't know. That is about drones. Correct. It's drones. Not only that, that's an expansion in the industry that is hot market. It's AAM, Advanced Air Mobility. We are leading in a lot of respects of the AAM and the drone side of it. For instance, a drone itself is capabilities and it's uh, for battery life. We're looking at that as well. And then also we have a project with the FAA and we can't say a lot about that one, though. Oh, but but we, we are an FAA-approved site, I think. We certainly are in, in different ways. We partner with the FAA in a lot of different respects. We have the airport safety side, the flight education is part 141, plus an FAA testing site. So public, if you are needing a test for your private license, come on in and we can test you. We've got a part 145 for our maintenance. We also have the drone. Sustainability is another thing that we have not mentioned. That's another research piece that we are uh, working on with other partners. And also for another aspect of the FA would be watershed. And currently, ARC is conducting a research project for ODOT. They have a radar system set up at the airport, supports Route 33 Smart Corridor, which connects to TRC, our partner. So I'm just going to throw out, because we love acronyms, ODOT is basically the Department of Transportation, and TRC is... Transportation Research Center. I mean, there's a lot happening here. We talk about research, education, got to say drones, K-12 through outreach, 5K runs. Okay, so there is so much happening at the Ohio State Airport. I, I think about the equipment, though, and airport maintenance and flight simulators and aircrafts. I mean, it has to take a lot of resources. So what role does, I would say, philanthropy actually play or corporate sponsorship play in this education, research, and outreach of the airport? Dean, we wouldn't be the same without them. I mean, when we look at the terminal itself, the partnerships that were involved in the build of that terminal, Austin and Knowlton, NetJets, Worthington Industries, even the barbecue restaurant, Look at our alums, so that part of the alum society that has helped us with scholarships and be able to advance our students. And that's really our mission. If you looked at our 5K itself, just the sponsors that have raised their hand for that event, we have CMT, RSNH, Textron, Light Safety International, Spartan, Frasca. Those are just some of the name the few. So without that, we wouldn't be where we are. We depend and lean on our partners and community, especially the community itself, because as we said, we are public use, but our mission is for their students. So from what I'm concluding, if if you're out there and you have not interacted with the airport, then you need to. I agree. Come on, come and see it. Take a tour. We'd be happy. Uh, We have no cost for parking. We have a nice restaurant. You can see the uh, planes fly in our observation deck that was named by NetJets. We have an air traffic control that you can listen to them on the observation deck. It is truly a special place. It is truly a gem. It is. I mentioned Ohio Stadium earlier. That's where the best damn band in the land plays. Would you agree? I agree. Okay, you had to agree on that one. Absolutely. But what I heard today based on this conversation is I also want to say I think Ohio State has the best damn university airport in the land. Education, research, STEM outreach, gaining altitude every day. Keep up the great work, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your partnership. If you like what you heard and are interested in learning more, are suggesting your own topics for ingenuity. Be sure to connect with us on Twitter or Facebook at OSU Engineering. Thanks for listening.